Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In very short tutorial video, we are going to see how we can deploy a text embedding model inside Azure OpenAI Studio. Let's talk a little bit about embeddings. So embedding is a special format of data representation that are nowadays very widely used inside different machine learning models and algorithm. And also it is very widely used if you are going to build any co-pilots, any chatbots and other things. So that embedding you need to use. If you wanted to find similarity between two texts, then this help us for different things because it is a kind of dense representation of semantic meaning of the similar text, right? convert any text into embeddings then we are going to store inside either Azure SQL database or Postgres which provide the storing of the vector vector fields or we can use Azure AI search and other. In this video we are just going to deploy a embedding model inside Azure Open AI Studio. In next videos we are going to see how we can use this embedding models. So right now we are into Azure Open AI Studio home page. Let's go to model catalog. Once we go to model catalog, we can see all the model provided by Azure Open AI service. And then we can see there are multiple text embedding models also. This was the text embedding 002 earlier model. These are the new, they have two varieties. One is a small and one is large. In this demo, we are going to deploy large. So once we will click that, it will give some more information about description and we can see that this is the th series three models and most capable embedding model and this is the most capable model so that we are going to use so let's click on deploy once we click to deploy then we are going to get the pop-up with all the default setting and we can increase or decrease settings or adjust our setting based on our need but right now i am going to use the default setting so let's deploy once it is deployed we can go and see the deployment from our deployment sections also and here if you are using this one from api or portal from Azure AI search then you if you wanted to increase the settings and other things you can click on edit and then it will bring another pop-up and you can configure or reconfigure your limits and other things based on that. You can go more details and you can edit the same pop-up will come from the settings also because it you need multiple time to adjust the settings because if you are converting too much text document like you have huge number of PDFs and you are trying to convert in very short amount of time. So this limit may encounter an issue. So you can adjust that one and you can save. And also uh, depending upon how many times you are going to call, you are going to see the matrices are going to come. Similar matrices I can show you from different I have. So if you see my Dell E3 deployment, which we used in another videos, so we can see how many requests came and how many requests per minute is coming. So we can see all the details. If you see that another one, which we have uh, mini four, which matrices we can see that in uh, last month we did some demo. So we can see that how much request was there and how much token usage and other things was there. So this is how we monitor that, how much we are hitting the cap city and other things quota, and then we can go to quota and increase that one. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. And in next video, we are going to use this model. So I hope you have liked this demo. If you do, please share and subscribe and provide comments on the video so we can reach to more people. Thank you.